hi everyone welcome back to another video of s code in this video we are going to make how to make a basically we made so a lot of type of this type of portfolio website but in this video we are going to make a type 8 portfolio website you can see as a navigation bar and beautiful effect and here this inside of this body have and text that is moving on side and this is changing the text is of the time and there's description and hire me and this download cv there's we have this two button here so let's start this video how we can make this actual this type of type 8 website here so let's start here you can see my vs code i have html file css file and all of these images and this logo and this sbg file so let's type here this inside of this body class here i will type this snap bar and this will description here so that is make a description but here will be type a logo here so i'm going to type this logo class that is slash snap logo dot png this image link will be find into my description there and now let's set here this for the snap center for the center buttons of element of for this item i'm writing that center element here so let's type this here this link here lime here i'm typing this first one is home and let's type this home contacts like this type of so lot of text so you can add this or as much you need this all of this button you can type this as usual here so here i'm typing this about and after this deep tag and now we'll write for this nav right section so let's type here this nav right and for this div we will type here an image that is for we are going to add a bars images we are going to use it that is basically is a is busy here so you can see the viewpoint is like this so now let's type for this css for the snap bar so let's type here the display flex so that's this all item goes to in one line and this flexible and now we will say this position is absolute and here we will type this top zero which is 100 percent so that this video will be 100 percent just by quantity is space between so this element will be have equal space will be spaces here you can see like this on my computer screen here so now we'll type for this logo css so let's type here this logo and dot logo basically this is the basic statement here now we'll type here this margin for this logo that is zero and five percent and now we'll set for this a small width that is with 60 pixel and now we'll type for this img tag so here we will set this with is 100 percent so that image will be set by default by this pixel here and it will be set here this line height that is 50 pixels so it will be this images will be set on this padding section here and after adding this now we'll add a padding this image is not showing there so it was going to top now we'll go to set this padding and now we can see this images have some space from the top bottom left and right from each of the spaces here so now we'll type for this this is that is for the snap container that is box here the snap center so here we will type this merge in 0 and 5 percent so it will be 0 from the top bottom bottom and it will be from the left right will be 5 percent so here we will say this just by content center so that all item goes to in center here so let's copy and paste it again and now we will type for this will and it will be display flex so that all item goes to in one line and flexible item here so now let's type for this list style so it will be list style now so that this this one we are going to add a list style so it have a small icon that is list style that is circle block so we're going to remove that item here so now let's type for this anchor tag now we'll add for this css for this anchor tag. that is here going to text decoration font size and margin color and so most of things so i'm going to select that rgb color mode from here you can choose your any type of color what you want to add here so after adding this color so we are going to set it and you can see like this so it was going so much up top so here we will go to add a line height that is 50 pixels so it will be that item go to this in one line as equality and after adding this so now let's write this for this nav right css for this but before adding this let's add a hover effect on this nav bar so let's set this color and the text decoration so it will be underline and it will be change the color when we hover on the nav bar so underline and now let's see the viewpoint you can see like this when you hover on it it's changing a color and there is one underline is showing here so let's type for this snap right element for this item we will write css and now let's set for this css that is margin five percent so it will be from the right and left it will be the five percent it will be back space from here and from top and bottom will be zero here and let's set this width for this i'm going to set it at 30 pixel and now we'll set this image width that is 100 percent so it will be set by default in 50p 30 pixel and let's set this line height so that that image goes to in this line here so it was getting very big so we'll decrease that size so let's set here this okay this type of showing here 
and now this all element is set here like this so now we'll set here this width also decrease there so that this item goes to is looking good like now okay now let's close this tag here and now we will go to write for this description for this body text so here will be right here container class and here will be inside of this one this is one tag another one is p tag so here i'm going to add a lorem 20 that is it will be run this lorem i presume the 20 word of description it will be right here this is the shortened tricks of this lorem right word writing here so here i'm going to s1 tag here i'm going to write here that is m dash that x you can type any type of name here so here i'm typing that basic name here any type so here we'll be type here this container css for this and you can see the viewpoint is like this so let's set here this for here i'm going to set a position absolute and then we will set this for this top to 20 percent and from the left is eight percent so let's see the viewpoint you can see like this so we will need to make more top from here i'm adding this 30 percent so you can see now it was this position here so let's decrease it 35 so you can see it was now it's looking good so now let's write this css for this whole item okay now we'll break for this first of all we'll break this description here so let's break from here and after this word that is ips here here will be break here so to break this line and this text is a suitable here so now we will go for this all item is almost set it here now we'll write for this css for this container is one tag so let's set here this font size here i'm going to set it 20 pixel and then we will set here this okay let's remove this first and now we'll set the font weight that is 500 so it was not working as 500 so i'm going to set a 600 and now we need to set here this okay let's increase that 700 but still it's not going so good effect so here i'm going to add a font size will be increased here that is i'm going to 2m for just checking purpose so it was like this so now let's increase more so here i'm going to set 4m so it will be 4m and it was now looking good so inside of this here we will add a span tag before of this i my space and it will add a span tag so that here we are going to make some stylish for this name so let's tag copy this span tag here and let's write for this is for the span tag we'll set a color so with this text color will be changes like this and now let's write for this p tag so i'm going to add this container p that is description we have some here so we'll set this font size and it will be sent here font weight for this so it was successfully set it here so now we'll add a two more button here so let's add anchor tag first for this two button here i'm going to add that is two button let's copy and paste it and now we'll change this button value here that is i'm going to add hire me and this another one is download my cb that is download cb i'm going to add this and now you can see this two button is here so now we'll style this two button here so now we'll first of all we'll make it line height let's set it okay but we got some make some another line height not there exact line it need to be below here but we'll use that instead of line height we'll use their margin so that will be okay here so i'm going to add this container that is anchor tag so first we'll remove this text decoration and let this plain line block so this all item goes to in one line and margin will be set here from this top from this top will set 30 pixel and this left right will be zero and this all button this space i will make some another classes inside of this and then i will make some more spaces in this left to right okay let's write for this complete that for anchor text css here will be color padding and this all of things so i've added that background also added here and now we'll add a border radius also that will be more effectively this button will be looking good so let's open it and you can see like this it has padding is so much of so let's decrease the padding 10 pixel and 20 pixel so now it was looking good so now we'll change this value for this now we'll add a anchor tag inside of this anchor tag we'll add a class name that is btn for this we are going to changing this button download see with this button style we are going to change it by adding the classes here so let's add a background here first of all that you can see and now we'll set a over effect for this all item this all button so let's copy this first of all we'll write this over effect for this betty and that is when you hover on it its background will be black so it will be change the background black here and for this the next item that is anchor tag that is where is black it will be changes that is color that is purple color 
and it will be changed here so now you can see when you hover on it it was changing the color so after adding this completed here so now we have that main the, the third part is we have is images that is for this girl images we are going to add a mg tag and here we will add a class name so let's add a class that is i'm going to add a class is girl now let's copy this girl class here and now go to here you can see this images is looking here and now we'll write this css for this image and we'll destyle these images here so first of all we'll write this position absolute so that these images will be removed that background classes the background all element it will be removed and it will be contain its own classes here so it will be here we're going to type this bottom and right bottom zero and right will be eight percent and i will set this with this with this here i'm going to set 500 and height i'm going to set it as 700 pixels just for testing purpose so you can see that height is so much of and this with also so much of so let's decrease it so i will set this width is 450 and height is 600 so now we can see looking like this so now we'll add this text moving effect and the changing effect on this try my smith here so let's back to here and remove this text and inside of this span we will add a class name that is i'm going to add auto text so let's add it and now we'll find for this type gss type it gss so you can find a github profile i will leave the link this i will give this link here we'll find this there's the type gs provide here so this cdn will copy here and now we'll open here this skip tag so here i'm going to add a first of all this variable that is i'm going to add it type it equal to new type it so inside of this function we'll add this quotation mark here we'll go to add this class name here so inside of the dot with auto text and here we're going to close this okay not exactly need to close so let's remove that so we need to add function inside of this parenthesis so inside of this character comma here and then we will open here this curly braces and inside of this here we'll go add a strings here so strings basically for the sticks format strings and here we'll go to this third bracket and inside of this we'll add some string here by using the double quotation and this comma here so here i'm going to add some string here so let's add some string and here is comma here and inside of this we will add this more another string that is you're going to add a UI designer and this close this and now we'll add this type speed so let's type this type speed here type speed is equal to 100 so it will be that 100 moving here this type and the back speed also the same so it is type this upward and backward moving will be the same process here so let's add this loop will be true here so it will be this condition will be play as truly this is so now let's see here and now we am to add some clone but it's not running here so let's check it why it's not running okay let's change this value maybe i have added some text a spelling mistake here so let's change this spelling here okay this almost is okay here so i'm going to change this class name let's type this if it have any auto input class so let's send these classes here okay now let's check this all of this spelling if it any mistake it here so first of all when you are going to type escape so there's if this is a very important part is you have to make it your all of your spelling should be correct here still it's not running so let's check it why it's not running so we have one mistake that is here this small t it will be the capital t here and we have any small curly braces so let's remove it and you can see it was is playing the script is playing here but here is only the two text is showing here this we need another script so here we'll add a, an empty string so this will be not play it's just an empty string then it will be play this and the third string that is for three string that is here we have and here i'm adding some another extension for this with this text tip that is a so let's play it now you can see it was playing that this name and this blockchain developer and there it was asking also that a ui designer so here is you can see this completed here so hope you enjoy this video thank you so much for watching this video